Hey everyone, Wicked Jado here. Uh, time for another Raid My Bases. The base name is Machia Sport, and the Raiders is Ravi Wrongtime69 and Booze Reaver. Um, so they're just kind of looking around. Um, this is a co op, um, so they're just kind of looking for the tombs. So I'll just speed up um, just to kind of get through this. Um, The tower is the the starting point of the base. Um, starts off like pretty um, safe. Um, there's no traps until maybe halfway through the base, um, and even then the traps aren't too difficult. But yeah, I'll, I'll just kind of slow it down here um, as, as they're starting to get to the the start of the traps. You can see some of those bedrock cubes there. They are second wave and we'll see that later in the, the video. Okay, so he's greeted with a, um, a flame trap. And that's two of them, um, side by side, or kind of cross cutting. Um, normally when you see these traps, um, the best option is to just ignore it, um, just run straight past it, um, but you, you'll see in a second what, what happens with these two. Okay, I'm still trying to figure it out. If, you, if you've never come across one of these, like, um, yeah, they, they can be quite tricky to deal with, unless you know some of the, the weaknesses to it. Um, so he's grenaded one of them, um, and then we'll see what happens with the second one. to try and grab his bolt and drop straight in. So here you can see these are like empty blocks here. The idea here is we want to let grenades float, uh, go through safely. And now he's in a really tough spot because he um, he landed on ground that then resets your, your death point. Um, so now his partner has to join him, essentially, into this prison. So we'll see what happens here. Okay, so he's zipped in. Drop three. Okay. And now this is where... <laughs> this is where it gets a bit, uh, silly. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Yeah, you, you can see there, that, that last cube there is uh, hardened, so you can't uh, grapple through it. That's why they're having such a challenge um, right now. Okay, so his partner's trying to see if he can get out. 
<laughs> oh man. Um, yeah, they're they're in a really tough spot. Um, they're they're well and proper stuck. Um, you can get out of this, by the way, um, but not like they're doing it. It's such a tricky shot to get through, um, hence why I, I suggest just skip over them if you can. Um. Okay. Hey, yeah, it's well and proper stuff. Kind of jimmy your way through, but you gotta be like really on point with your timing. Um, because like too high and you can't like make the jump, and too low you're gonna hit that cube. So you gotta be at the right level to s sneak through. <laughs> They're just like really puzzled. Yeah. They just don't really know what to do here, right? for the, the outer wall there. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're um, really thinking hard here. And the, the shield dome, as you can see, he tried to deploy it as he was going up, but it's going to do literally nothing here. It doesn't protect you. If they maybe had the arc barrier, um, that, that could help him here, but unfortunately neither of them have it. Okay, so we got Ruffy wrong times of trying. Yeah, same thing. He almost got up there, so I think my 
might be able to do it next next time. Okay. Hey, we we got a a successful exit. <laughs> but now his friend's stuck there. So he's they they both actually have to get out, it's not just one, otherwise uh, you, you can't complete the map. So, yeah, they're, they're in a rough spot here. Um, they're not quiet and here's the problem, right? If you're separated, you can no longer revive your buddy, right? So he's gonna have to jump back in. Yeah, and he just gives up there, right? I think it's the best choice. It's just to kind of do a full reset. We'll speed it up. Um, just until they, they get back in. how this other guy died, but... Okay, so we got a flame trap through pistons with the sticky flames um, and the extended mod. Um, the pistons have blockade um, with random timings. It just makes it really difficult to shoot that flame if those pistons are in the way, so it just kind of slows the the players down. This is especially good for speedrunners. Slow the right down. Alright, now we got the <laughs> we we got the uh the the bombs. Okay, and that that was a team wipe, so I think his buddy was next to him that whole time, so he got to enjoy some bombs to the face too. Let's speed it up. I got a long load time, so I'm not sure if they're running console or PC, just a slow PC, but anyway. Alright, let's always uh, rough you one time. Slow it down. Okay, let's see what it does here. Nice shot. I'm not sure why he doesn't just go make this one too, but okay, maybe it's just the wrong um, angle that he's comfortable with. But yeah, he, he, he survives there. I'm not sure why the audio uh, glitches out here, but this part of the way back. Okay, so his buddy is kind of just sitting back here this time, <laughs> wisely. Okay, there's the grenade. You can see there with those corrosives, 
um, they have the splatter mod, so those bombs like shoot straight through the, the corrosives there and causes even more uh, chaos. And that They took out all the bombs. Um, it's just the spray trap. Okay, they got the spray. Scrubbing his bolts. I'm not sure where that third bolt is, I'm not sure. Oh, right, on the flame trap, back there. Okay, so his friend's kind of um, going out, which is smart. Um, so he's coming to the main room here. So he's kind of just sitting out. Okay, so he's getting even further out. Yeah, so let's slow it down. A lot is going to happen right now, so... Um, got his friend outside kind of killing a sentinel with... Uh, Explode mod. We've also got some dead man drops for his friends. He he's gone, and then the other guy just like really bad spot for both of them to sit. But I guess you, you can't really know what to expect if you never run before. So. Probably just looking around on this main chamber. I think we're up to round four now. from the dead man. Yeah, you can't see it there. Okay, his friend's changed up his kit, so he's got the demo cannon. Can't quite reach his friends without triggering, so he probably has to take out the, the flame trap first. Which I think he does. Nice. 
rubbing his bones. See where his friend is. Yeah, he's right there. Okay, so they're probably just strategizing here what, what to do. Again, they haven't seen everything, so it's a bit hard to guess where the safe spot is. If there is any safe spot. Um, yeah. Probably thinking here. Okay. Let's see how they go round two. drops can go straight through shields. As you can see here, he's just kind of snuck in. <laughs> I think there's some lag here. They, they don't normally take this long. Friend's still alive though. Speed it up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> One of the dead mans didn't actually trigger that. Um, and you can see there that you can see the dead man didn't actually um, explode. He just kind of disappears. So that's just one of the bugs with the Dreads Shore patch. Now he can safely pick up the, the gem that and res his body. Um. Those flame traps will happen bef trigger before you can even see them. So you have to take them out, basically. Yeah, so that's one bolt. Okay, and there you can see the sentry beams. Still trying to play with those sentries. I'm, I'm still not sold that. I, I think you, we've just got to experiment with them more, like, I'm still uncertain, like, I think they can be good, but you just got to know the setup. Okay, so his buddy's jumping in. Okay, so all those flame traps trigger to kind of stop you either going in or coming back out. And this is like really difficult for the demo cannon too because everything's on the ceiling or you know not somewhere that you can kind of hit easily. So it got taken out by the ceiling flame turret. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not gonna do it either. 
got a too long of a cook time to be useful here. much he could do in that spot. And now his um, his corpse is like in a really difficult spot too. Um, this guy doesn't have any ammo left so he's in a bit of a tough spot too. He can grab his ammo but going out means he's going to be trapped outside in the main chamber. Um, just because of those flame turrets um, on all the side. He's just trying to think what, what to do next. Has no more res kits. He doesn't have a shield bubble which would help here, but... Yeah. Let's just speed it up a little bit. He does have his ammo back, so he is in a better spot. Um, the question is, how's he gonna get to his friends safely in resin? Okay. Out. At least those flame traps are dealt with, so it should be a little easier. But those sentries can be very sneaky. Yeah, and look at that angle that it's shooting at directly vertical. So I think they can work, it's just you've got to be really clever with the angles. all three bolts. Um, yeah. He's in a really tough spot. Um, still got like one of those flame traps up which is not good. You probably want to, yeah, yeah, it's unfortunate. You, you probably want to um, prioritize those flame traps over the sentries just because they, they can block your exit. Okay. Yeah, you 
can't like commit that far. Um, you really just gotta poke in, duck out. Okay, so he's sees his buddies down. Yeah, I don't really know what he's trying to do here. Might try to res him from the outside, which in my opinion is bad manners, but um, yeah, it looks like he's, he's going back through. Okay, <laughs> now I he could mistakenly go through there, but yeah, he, he realizes that's not where he is. Okay. There we go. Oh no. Let's slow it down. Oh no. Okay. His friend did make it out, so they're, they're okay. It's not a full wipe yet. Ladder in the, the dredge shore patch is insane. Oh, so much better. Oh no, sorry. This guy takes out the flame trap. Okay, and the piston. Yeah, and as, as you can see there, it's quite frustrating. Just some of those dead men's just not triggering. <laughs> oh yeah, this is great. <laughs> Kind of skipped over that enforcer and it really bit him in the bar. Okay, let's see. His friend's still alive, so that, that's good. Maybe he's locked down. Okay. <laughs> They're in a stabilized state now. It's just gonna try and get through this main room. It's the next challenge. Okay, they both got up. can get that that angle right, I think they're gonna be really good. I think it's just a matter of time how how people kinda set up the perfect sentry trap. Okay. So that that top flame trap is gonna kinda wipe out. Okay, and you can 
hear some of those um, traps die out to the sentries. Yeah, it's just a lot going on there. And like once you commit, like you can see, like you dealt greeted with like a thousand. out of um, bolts or grenades I guess. So at some point they just gotta commit and go back. Yeah, see that's the problem. Your your exit is blocked if you don't take care of these flame traps. Um, but you might be in reach of resing. See so, see how it goes. Inching his way forward, yeah. Almost leaves a bit of corrosive behind him. Okay. Very tense. Ah, <laughs> that luck. Okay, so his friend actually reses uh, using the Phoenix pod. He does have his grenades back, so that's good. Um, let's see what he does here. He should be able to get his friend up. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Um, he still has one more Phoenix pod. They're a lot of fun, I, I, I will admit that. The sentries are a lot of fun. It's just trying to get them to do what you want them to do is the challenge. Yeah. Okay, so it's just taking them out. Just looks like one more sentry and then they're clear. Unfortunately, with some of these replays, um, they, they just kind of skip quite a lot, see. Okay, let's see. Dodges the grenades. It's the last couple pistols. There we go. Like they they made it out safely. Okay. to jump straight down. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so basically this last um, drop there is just to, the, to a, a locked second wave two, just to kind of reward the players on their way out. 
There's no traps here. Oh, kind of fun. The idea here, um, if you're kind of wondering why I did that, was more to just kind of give like that um, that lasting impression, um, um, and then kind of encourage the players to give accolades um, if they found it fun or not. Um, yeah, that, that's that's it. Um, so thanks everyone for joining. Um, consider liking and subscribing. Um, this really helps me out. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll see you in the next one.